This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. Everyone, is that our map? Literally. It may be Pisces season by the time you're watching this, but I am still in full Aquarius socializing mode. Oh my goodness. I feel like this vlog would probably contain about 80% of the people that I love and care about in New York. This is actually the most satisfying part of my heatless waves curls routine is the taking out. So I've slept in this style. You can find it on my Instagram highlights. I don't think I've actually showed you how I take it out on YouTube in a while, so. Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion Oil and Salt Spray. This is kind of a nice finishing product that I like to use. Girl with healthy looking shiny waves is a girl that can take over the world. And this is my casual look. Okay, Bushwick, hey, how are ya? My beautiful friend Jessica is about to grace me with her beauty, and we are going to look at more beautiful things at some surf stores around here on the Morgan stop. This area in particular has so much good thrifting, both like clothing and furniture. But as you can tell, it's hella noisy. It's a really industrial place, so I am plagued with trucks. It's very hard to vlog, but first, coffee. shirt 100% silk for $13. Yep. I found a leather beautiful like trench coat yeah, for $45. Mm -hmm. Um that skirt that I got was probably the most like expensive for what it was. Yeah, it was full on like look like Burberry. I thought it was Burberry. Super like vintage looking, but that was 55. And then the most amazing purse. Like we're going to have to show you the purse before she goes home, you guys. I mean, both of us clocked it on the way in, but we both thought it was Celine. And me being me, I don't pick up things that I think I can't afford. And then how much was it when we like looked at the price? It was $95. <sighs> Anyone that goes shopping with me, it's I'm a really bad enabler. Like I barely buy anything myself, but yet love things when everyone else tries them on. So let's see. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Style it, style it. Yes, queen, yes. It's it's so it right? literally is so nice. I'm that is, so shocked. Like you would not get um, a leather bag on the high street for that price. For anyone that thinks that I'm not a thrifty bitch, I just thrifted the shiz out of this girl right here. So take that. Cat eye and contour is on, which can only mean it's Valentine's celebration. Myself and Kyle have not had a chance to celebrate valentine's together for like three years i think so we're kind of like we're kind of going out in a limb this week nothing crazy we've just booked a couple of date nights like it's my night tonight i'm celebrating the fact that we made it almost nine years guys nine years this year <laughs> it to be. It was like something out of Mrs. Maisel. Me and Cal have been watching that sort of 1950s Amazon show and like the tables and everything were really nicely lit so if you can request a table near the stage I would highly recommend that 
and um, the staff there were fantastic especially if it's like a special occasion they kind of went out of their way and it really wasn't expensive considering you got kind of a live performance with it as well feeling a little ropey we're gonna go get some coffee now really need it because we got to get a move on I've got to get prepping the girls are coming over tonight for Galentine's and it's a Galentine's with a twist I'm so looking forward to tonight's activity but um, I'll try and document it as much as I can I don't know if I'll get busy hosting but I'll definitely give you a sneak peek into what we're up to okay snacks brownies sushi we are stocked up my friends oh <gasps> guys i cannot tell you how long i've been waiting for my friend christine fredheim's soul cards to come out they're a tarot deck designed by her and karina nika and they are the most beautiful feminine gorgeously designed um tarot cards i've ever ever seen they are just a pleasure to play around with and they feel like so velvety as well like the quality of them is just impeccable i am so proud leave a link down below where you can find more information or maybe where you can order them look how pretty the light is in the apartment everyone is just about to arrive kaha helped me prep some bits but i have to get the rest out now Oh, this you could tell a boy did this got some nice wine we're ready to bust out this one is from the Codley vineyard apparently it's super good red wine so i'm excited to have a reason to bust those out oh, such a shame there's not even light and all this shadow is happening but yeah i'm just about ready i just whacked on a little bit of makeup simple outfit and other stories cardi and other stories jeans because i could not decide what to wear um but yeah tonight i think one or two of the girls couldn't come because they had side hustle work at the weekend but there still should be at least like five or six of us coming tonight and i've booked a tarot reader for the evening i think a lot of my friends are going through big changes and i thought it would be a nice way to i don't know perhaps provide some like affirmation for the start of the year i feel like the start of the year is that time where you feel very like apprehensive about it, your life um so i thought that this would be fun and they were super up for it um so yeah the tarot reader is going to come in like an hour once everyone is settled and we'll see what happens i don't know if she's good or not but she is the co-owner of uh, the store catlands in brooklyn which a lot of you guys recommended to me it's kind of um all things like witchcraft and like tarot and you can get like tarot card readings there as well by a bunch of people so yeah i'm very excited to see how it goes Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, yeah. so I'm I'm at a normal party besides pull cards for you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it can get emotional. It sort of depends on where you want to take it. I like yeah. to have readings where the, the querent, which would be you guys, mm -hmm. guides the reading and sort of, you know, that I'm here to get you guys the answers. That you this is a map of the next, I don't know, four or five years. Or are things going? Um, but one of the things that she always asks is, um, do you want to know everything? Oh no, oh, do you find someone that believes what you believe they don't meet you where you're at? Yeah, uh, I think some people get that point. Yeah, I've had a lot of our guests who are like, Does everyone have a good time? Woo! It's <laughs> great. And we out. We've got two brownies left. All three platters of sushi were thoroughly rated. Um, yeah, no, it was a really good night. Uh, it was way more intense than I intended it to be, but um, you know, some of the girls were quite keen to ask their questions and not afraid. And I was like, whoa, like you guys are brave. Um, so yeah, I actually didn't really feel the need to ask that much. I feel like I'm pretty content in my life right now. And I feel like I follow so much tarot stuff already like on youtube i like check my tarot from different readers that i like almost every day i'll put some of them of some of my favorites in the description below for you guys um so i don't know i just felt kind of like content for like the first time in a long time and i didn't really have too much to ask but what i did find out was very true to what i am feeling at the moment and what i feel like my life's purpose for myself is i feel like with tarot the best way to go about it is take what serves you and leave the rest if it doesn't apply to you it will apply to somebody else um but it was a really different evening and 
I think that all of the girls are going away with an experience that they will remember that we all did together and we kind of all are pretty up to date with each other's personal lives anyway so it was just it was a fun evening the girls stayed around a little longer afterwards all wrapped up by 11 30 which is great because we are all low-key grannies and love to be in bed by 12. what were you doing i wish i got that on camera <laughs> okay guys good night figured i'd try and include little bits of my mundane week as well including the cafe run so me and my reusable cup are off to my local beautiful today i don't think i even needed my Brooklyn condom hat today. Chic look. How do you like it? Jacket courtesy of my boyfriend. Hat I actually like. I don't usually suit beanies, especially like these little condominium type, but I like this one. It's from Uniglow and it looks a lot better in real life, I promise. <laughs> Hear that? I got the goods, people. I smoke out with soy. 1.5 pumps. Love that coffee shop. It's locally owned and the owners are lovely. We have a really great, like, familiar relationship with them. And even though this costs six dollars, but I pays it and I pays it happily because it's Toby's estate, which is my favorite. One thing you'll notice if you live in New York is there's kind of like a couple of main coffee roasters like Toby's Estate, Devotion, Dumptown Coffee Roasters, people like that and then all of the little independent coffee shops will sort of pick which coffee they like the most and sell their coffee so yeah random useless information but this is why I kind of like taking you guys out on my everyday sometime when I'm not in a rush. Anyway back to work I'm pumped to start editing. This is why I can't have nice things folks. Well this is why Kaha can't have nice things because this is the hoodie I bought him. Oh yeah that's a look, that's a vibe, for sure. Coffee, check. Lunch, check. Because I am afraid that I'll get into an editing binge and I will forget to eat until like dinner. Earmuffs from Amazon for days where I don't want to wreck my hair. <laughs> Quite ridiculous looking, but very effective. So I'm bundled up now, Nanushka coat on. Time to go. So I am just out of the hot seat with Lan. Brim and had her style my hair in this beautiful like soft vintagey waves. Tonight is Cottle's date and I think we're going to like one of my favorite restaurants in Soho which I'm very happy about. Lan ended up saving my makeup. She washed my hair and didn't even smear my contour. I think that's pretty skilled. Okay makeup finished, earrings on. These are from Mango as are most of my earrings that you see on the vlogs but I think it's all pulled together now. I was gonna wear a dress. I ended up wearing this cute little top which I'll try and show you a little bit better but it's from Zara. Angled. I love it. Charlotte Tilbury. This is the uh, cream eyeshadow, eyes to mesmerize and star gold. There we go. That's what it looks like. And I haven't worn eyeshadow in forever. And then on my lips, I have this lipstick queen lip pencil in nude. gifted a facial with Oskia and it was divine. I've been meaning to book myself in for a facial for ages because I've had like, I don't know, I've just been feeling super puffy. So we did a bit of lymphatic stuff and uh, obviously got to try their products for the first time. And I don't know, but there's actually like a sheen off of my skin. I think it was the serum that they used. snowstorm I made it in one piece and I'm finally back at the flat I got my nails done 
I didn't stop to have anything to eat. I just wanted to get everything done and get home because I've been actually feeling pretty drained today, which is, I guess, in a nice way, a nice day to get like a fascia and just relax. But I don't know, man, that Virgo full moon last night, it effed me up and I'm feeling just super tired. I don't feel like working out today. I also don't feel like having anything too healthy for lunch. I actually stopped on the way back and even got myself a cheeky double espresso, um, which I almost spilled because it was so cold outside and I was like, no, don't drop the liquid gold. I had the biggest craving for roti chanai. So I got some roti chanai to go, which is like a flaky, yummy, dippy bread, which I'm gonna actually reheat on the pan. And then obviously it usually comes with a dal and I got some extra peanut sauce too. Yes, Malay fam, where are you at? Mm -hmm. Yes, for anyone wondering, that was delicious. The dal was um, but yeah, I'm just in my room now. I am about to start packing. I'm doing my packing a few days early, like I mentioned earlier, and I'm opening some packages. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm actually heading to the Bahamas for the first time for like three nights, four days, and it should be a really exciting sort of work play trip because um, I'm heading with some awesome people, namely Karen Blanchard from Karen Britchick, um, who hopefully by now you've seen on my channel and I haven't seen her in ages. So hoping to have a good catch up on that trip. And the person who's actually making this all happen, our mutual friend, Crystal Bick, um, who was kind enough to invite me onto the trip as well, along with two photographers whose work I really love and have been following for quite a while here in New York. So all in all, it should be a super fun, empowering, uh, cultural girly trip, you know me, I cannot wait to uh, just explore. Also, I nearly forgot to show you my nails. How cool are they? They almost look like googly eyes. They're like these abstract little dots. And I got more on the other side. I don't know, I just think, I wanted black nail polish, but I wasn't ready to commit. Usually in winter, I always wear black nail polish. One thing I definitely needed in my wardrobe for this trip and upcoming trips was a super nice pair of denim. I actually don't have any denim shorts. They're under other stories, organic cotton, and I just know by looking at them, they're gonna fit amazing. I actually sized up so that they wouldn't be too tight. Okay, guys, we're making real progress here. Can you see a theme, a theme at all? <laughs> anyway, I have Lizzie Hadfield on loudspeaker because she's trying on all of her trousers and keeping me motivated throughout this process but I'm super happy I usually do not get the time to pack this early and I'm trying on all of my outfits making sure I'm only packing what I need I hate bringing too much so I'm very happy well we made it to the end of the week well I did you guys are starting a new week haha <laughs> um but yeah, I'm in Williamsburg now. Yes, today I was that person that snuck their lunch into Starbucks because Starbucks food is probably the saddest on earth. I was in there cracking on with some end of the week work bits, including making a start in this vlog. Unfortunately, I didn't get it finished, but I'm still a little ahead of myself this week. <sighs> Love this little vintage pit stop on Berry Street. One day I'll buy something, but it's fairly, fairly hefty priced. I have to say, that guy is not a bargainer. We, my friends, are going for a fake tan. And this is something I've only ever done twice ever. And to be fair, I've loved it both times. So yeah, I'm heading to a little place called Sweetheart Tan in Williamsburg. And hopefully I will not come out like a tangerine. However, the Virgo in me has prepared for all eventualities. I'm actually getting the tan like four days before I go. So no matter what the result, we should have time for sufficient fading of said tan. This spot right here is where I just came out of. It's like pretty much next to like the Apple store. Bish bash bosh, 20 minutes. And I totally forgot that like tan takes time to develop. So <laughs> you guys will probably have to stay tuned on my Instagram stories or Instagram in general to see how it all comes out. That was a nice little simple day I had to myself at Whole Foods to get all of the vegan butter and bread things. Um, and now I'm back and your girl is looking fairly dark, I'm not gonna lie. I have no clue why my feet look so white, but it's developing nicely. I went for kind of a greeny based tan because my legs are kind of pinky purple in the winter. <laughs> I guess we'll know the full extent tomorrow. I really hope my feet even out because I had to wear my runners on the way home. Tana came in perfect timing for me to try on this tomorrow. This came oh, from Brown's Fashion via Farfetch and it is my first designery contemporary label swimsuit that I've actually spent money on. I haven't refreshed my swimsuits in a really long time. I don't go on vacation that much. Um, but I spotted this and it was by a brand I've been following for a long time. Um, Mateo or Mateo, I think they're an Aussie 
kind of contemporary label and I love it. It's so minimal and the camera is not picking up how nice. It's like this lovely midnight dark blue and I can't wait to try it on. I got it in a size three, which looks like it should be the perfect fit. It's $100, but I feel like this brand usually retails for like 350, 400. So I think I made at least a 60 or 70% saving. $100 is not a bargain by any stretch of the imagination, but I feel like it's a bikini that will do me through many stages in life. And I don't know, I just, it's a comfortable bikini for all occasions. I don't always feel like wearing something super skimpy. As always, it was a pleasure to partner with my sponsor Squarespace to bring you this here vlog. And seriously, you guys, if any of you are looking to set up a website, a blog, a e-commerce shop, your slice of the internet, do start at Squarespace because it's so fast and so easy to set up. They basically just have templates that are already made up and beautiful. They literally help you set up a website from the ground up affordably. And not only that, you can also use my discount code Termer at checkout for 10% off your future billing. While I fester here waiting for my tan to develop, I'm wishing you all a beautiful Sunday. Do let me know what you got up to this weekend in the comments below. If you managed to hang around till the end, I would love to know. Um, reading your comments is one of my biggest pleasures. So yeah, see you guys all in the next video. Mwah.